Hey guys, and welcome to our very first recording. This is uh, the Casual Critics giving you episode one of our podcast. My name is Anthony Dane, and with me is Josh Bratton. Hello. So uh, this is our very first podcast, so kind of go a little easy on us. Uh, With us tonight is our guest, a good friend of mine coming all the way from Minnesota, is Mike Linetti. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Land of a thousand lakes. Yes. And, and oh, even more mosquitoes. Mosquitoes and snow. In October? Ooh. In October. That's kind oh, of wait, it's worse. not October yet. Never mind. Close enough. Well, yeah, we got a few days. Yeah, whatever. Uh, yep. So, oh, makes me sad. Makes me happy. <laughs> I do love the fall. Anyways, we digress. So Probably this... going to happen a lot. Yeah, that might happen a lot. We might get derailed a couple of times, so bear with us. This is our first recording, so with that being said, let's go ahead and just give a little idea as to why we're doing this, who we are, and really, why the hell you're listening to us. Uh, we are trying to... What the hell are we trying to do? Trying to have fun with this, to be honest. Like we're just Something trying like to... that. Yeah, we're just trying to... Put together a little podcast snippet thing as we play games and review others and see what's going on. So yeah, we're uh, we're gonna be doing reviews, opinions, and just kind of like an overall coverage of what came out during the month and lighting. So this episode here, the biggest thing that came out in September was Destiny: Rise of Iron. Uh, so we're going to be talking about that here, but we also have a couple other segments that we want to talk about to actually kind of give some content to this so we're not just talking about Destiny as much as, you know, that might be fun. Oh, it's going to be fun. There it is. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we got a couple of talking points what we're going to go over here. Uh, we're going to do, we're going to start off with a segment that, Mike, you kind of introduced us to. It's a, huh? uh, yeah, you, a, uh, <laughs> what have we been playing this month? Oh, uh, yeah, that was kind of your little, your little child there. So with that, let's uh, let's have you start it off. What, <laughs> what the hell have you been playing this month, Mike? Uh, 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 let's see here. Mostly Bioshock, the Bioshock Collection, Deus Ex. I feel like this has been mostly those two, honestly. How is Deus Ex? I've watched interesting, but I've heard a lot of people get kind of burnt out quickly with it. If you liked Human Revolution, it's just more the same, and okay. I liked Human Revolution, so I've only played maybe two, three hours of it. It seemed like the, similar to like Metal Gear in terms of like you sneak, and like I mean you have a oh, bunch yeah. of other stuff, but it's more of like a sneaking like you are Black more, Ops missiony stuff. It is. It's a stealth game. You can go full action, but you're more rewarded. If you go stealth, like there's an RPG leveling system, you get experience for stuff, and if you do stuff stealthy, you get more XP that way, so. So very much like the Hitman or the Batman series, where it kind mm-hmm. of forces you to do stealth. Yep, pretty much. Okay, which I am terrible at. I am not okay. stealthy whatsoever, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm really a <laughs> Yep, I, I'm guns blazing when I can, get, when I can so. Balls yeah. to the wall. If, um, <laughs> my... <laughs> Mike, you said you were also playing Bioshock. We'll talk a little bit more about mm-hmm. talk about Destiny because that was one of the other highlights that I wanted to discuss in this. Episode. Absolutely. Because, uh, like I said earlier, the biggest thing that came out this month was Destiny, and then, mm-hmm. uh, it's the about other time. big thing is uh, Bioshock. So we'll we'll get right into that. Uh, mm-hmm. Josh, real quick, what the hell have you been playing this month? Uh, literally for the last week, it's been the Destiny expansion. Um, before that, when I can't find time. Um, not a whole lot. Honestly, Pokemon Go, and, uh, that's pretty much it. Work schedule's been kind of fucked up, so... Oh, wait, can we cuss on here? Yeah, we can say whatever the okay, fuck we good. want. It's our show. Just that, <laughs> just double-checking. Um, yeah, it's just fucking around with Pokemon Go. There's a billion stops around my work, so whenever I go on lunch, I pull it out and... Wait, no. Um, yeah, yeah, you I, choose I, your friend. Wait a minute. I take, I take my phone out and... Just kind of so you casually. pull it out while you're playing Pokemon. Yeah, I pull it out while I'm playing Pokemon to try and catch monsters with it. Um, yeah, weren't there a couple of new updates recently on that game? There were. Uh, nothing body system, so you can earn candy while having someone, like, trail you. You don't visually see it. It's just attached to it. Just wait for you. To, for the stuff you can't find uh, in the wild easily, it's a way to level it up and evolve it without 
really finding them. But... So what, your buddy doesn't follow you around? That's kind well, of well, it not on the not on the phone. There'd just be too much work for it. So it's just got a little talking head thing that wiggles every now and again that uh <laughs> that you get Sounds candy. Like my typical Thursday night. Yeah, that's awkward on so many levels. Um, and uh, they're supposed to be um bringing back the or fixing the stupid tracking system, but for now it's. The lost mm. calls. They've been saying that since the beginning. Yeah, so now it's yeah. the third parties that you know everyone messes around with to find stuff. But mm-hmm. like I said, very casual on that. Mostly Destiny. Really, just want to find time to grind out the new stuff there. So. Oh, and we will get to our Destiny. Mike, are you playing Pokemon Go still? I, I, I have it on my phone. I don't really play it anymore. I mean, I played it when it's like I just don't have the energy. Yeah, it's a dying thing for me, too. Like I said, I walk to get food at lunch, so it took yeah. an hour, so I just, you know, walk past stops and do stuff then, but I'm really not We're not actively. going out of our way to play. Yeah, I'm not actively yeah. going after no. shit. There you go. Not like Jansen. She's still at it? Oh, God. Did oh, you just hit me up today trying to go to the mile tonight? I'm like, no, it's not happening. <laughs> well, I'm glad she finally <laughs> removed me from that text thread, because I haven't heard from her about it lately, so that's no. good. <laughs> Either way. Jansen, you suck. Um, <laughs> Not that she'll ever listen to this. But... No, she'll never listen to this, so I can say whatever the hell I want. Yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> so we heard from you guys about what you've been playing. I've actually been playing quite a lot of stuff this month. Uh, I, ch- I tried the uh, Nio beta. Nio? Nio. Yeah, I'm saying that right. The Nio beta. I'll take your word for it. I don't know nothing about it, so do tell. <laughs> no? Uh, no it's so good. It's, um, it's very much like the Dark Souls Bloodborne series. Oh, so something I would break really quickly from dying. Yeah, okay, something good. that you mm-hmm. rage quit when you die. Mm-hmm. The very end, you fight the boss, you die, and then you start right back at the beginning and you lose all your shit. I'll be trying to watch you play that. That's not me. Oh, it's so much fun. Except this one, instead of being, like, dead or... When I say dead, I mean, like, um, gothic setting. This one is a uh, samurai setting. Oh, okay. That's kind of so cool. So you, you get to use ninjutsu, and you get to have different mm-hmm. stances in your outfit. You're walking around like a big fucking samurai with a katana. It's sick. All right, visually, that sounds nice. Yeah, but oh, I, believe me, I forgot. I was watching you play it, and it just made me want a new Animusha game. It, dude, it felt like that, too. <laughs> in fact, if you uh, look at our channel on YouTube, uh, search Casual Critics, you'll see that I have a death reel up there of how many times I died just trying to fight the boss. It was, was a lot. lot. It was a lot. <laughs> yeah, persistence. Uh, let's it see. pays I also, off. Um, it does, in the end. Let's see, I also tried the uh, Battlefield 1 beta. Honestly, I wasn't that impressed. I watched some gameplay. Hindsight. I wasn't huge on it. No, the map was really big. I mean, it was legit when it came to, like, shooting things. Yeah. But... It's just not for me. I'm spoiled. Not spoiled, but I grew up on the Call of Duties, and even that's not the same as it was for me. I like boots on the ground more than anything. Destiny is kind of different. I mean, the jumping is there, but I don't know. Some of the more recent Call of Duties, the jumping is just, it's it, almost impossible to, like, target people. Yeah, plus they give, like, three or four different jumps. You're on the moon. You got these boots. It's yeah. ridiculous. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not, not going to go for Battlefield. Uh, obviously, I've been playing Destiny when that came out, which we'll get into. And most recently, I've been playing a lot of Bloodborne, if we're talking more about Nio. I just Thanks, played... Rich. Yeah, Rich, you dick. You got me started on Bloodborne. He was so persistent on me playing he this game. He bought you the game. He bought me the game. We were at the <laughs> bar one night, and he came over. We were chatting there for a minute, had a few drinks, and he was like, Here's You have to twenty dollars." Go buy it now. Yeah, so I, I had to like pull it up on my smartphone. I had to open up the PlayStation Store and download as he handed me 20 bucks. <laughs> I mean, Have you got I, a new phone, speaking of? Are you up to no, date? No, but I did fix it. Okay, so, yes. you're not in the 80's anymore? Nope, I'm right, no cool. longer with that old flip phone. I, I am back into the 21st century with it's about a... about damn time. I know, God. But again, digressing. Yeah, but <laughs> So that's that's pretty much what's been going on on my end of things. I can't get enough Bloodborne. Absolutely loving it. Um, so real quick, right before we get into the Destiny thing, I want to talk one more thing. There was another really really big thing that happened to PS4 in the month of September, and that was the new firmware update 4.0. Looks pretty. Right? What do you think about that, Mike? Uh. It does look pretty. The I like when you uh, when you push down the the home button. It the quick menu that pops up when you're in game. It's much more streamlined. It doesn't take up the whole screen. It just covers the left side. And uh, 
probably the best thing. I, I just took all those apps I never used, like Game Room or Share Factory, just threw them in a folder named Junk. I have not played with that. I will do that when I get off this tonight, though. <laughs> yeah, there's like half that stuff I never will open, so. Yeah, and you can't delete it, so it's like, come on, guys, meet us halfway. So yeah, I, looks like they tried to. Yeah, so I just threw in a folder named Junk, and I put all my indie games in a folder, so I got like 40 indie games <laughs> in a folder. <laughs> <laughs> features that they gave us was a faster hot bar, uh, quick bar, what did you yeah. call it? Quick bar? Side bar, whatever Side you want to call it. Yeah. yeah All the above. I, yeah. <laughs> uh, customization. So yeah, like you were saying, you were able to make folders within the uh, library sorting through all of your games, which is pretty cool. But yeah, no, I, I'm a big fan of that little sidebar that pops up. I, I didn't notice, though. When you're in-game, does it pause the game? Um... Everything I've been playing is online, so you can't... Yeah, every time I pop it up, I usually pause the game anyway, and I've just been playing Bioshock lately, so I guess I haven't really noticed if, if the game keeps running or not. I haven't, I haven't pulled it up when I've been playing Destiny, because I just use the in-game to try and, you know, find your friends. Yeah, party up or whatnot. Right. Although it does make it a lot easier to jump in and out of party chats, yeah. as well as play with your broadcasting and your streaming, which is pretty mm -hmm. cool. Big fan of that. So, yeah, bravo. Way to go, Sony. You finally did something right. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> they're usually one step forward, two steps back. Yeah, like the whole new consoles that they want us to try and buy. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that for a minute, too, after we talk about that. That's fine. We got time. <laughs> yeah, we got a few minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's that's hilarious. I'm, I'm really liking the new update on uh, the PlayStation. Finally makes it worth playing, at least compared to, like, the old PS3, XMP. Uh, see, I jumped, I jumped from 360 to PS4, so I never had to... I literally have been going back and forth. That was a PS2, then I was Xbox 360, now I'm PS4. Mm. But I really like the... I'm back to PlayStation. I don't think I'll switch back to Xbox. Not that anyone cares, but... Okay. Oh, yeah. the, I fired up the PS3 the other day, and just, like... God, the cross media bar just kills me, and it takes a freaking hour and a half to load anything. It just <laughs> kills me. Yeah, it's not even worth it. So, uh, now, if they'll be able to give us all of those PS3 games that we love so much on PS4, I would be Well, what kills me is like, uh, the only reason I'd fire up my PS3 is for like PS1 classics and PS2 classics. So it's like, come on, just bring those over to PS4, call it a day. They're taking their time. I mean, they're they're going to remaster and resell it for barely less than what it was originally to make you double buy it, but oh, it, would yes. be, yeah. it would be nice if they could give us some of those old school ones. And fuck, I, I just bought um, Last of Us again. Oh, the did you? Remaster one. Yeah, it was on sale in the store, and I didn't want to play the PS3 anymore, so I got Yeah. Yeah, it's just, if they were smart, it would just be like, you know what, you own this stuff on PS3, and what does Nintendo do? It's like, they have a, you pay like $1 a title to upgrade it to Wii U or whatever. It's like, you pay a buck so you can play it on PS4. I, I'd pay a, a buck to play Final Fantasy 8 or 9 on PS4. Oh, I would bring all the, all the Final Fantasies, the Kingdom Hearts, I'd bring all that over. Yeah. I'd be playing that right now. I probably yeah. wouldn't be on this but but you, but you know, <laughs> at like their next like stage event, they're gonna like tout it out like, oh, now there's PS1 classics on PS4, nine ninety nine, and it's just like at this point, it's like, no, yeah, it's like I'm okay, thanks. <laughs> That's probably exactly how it's good. Or the next PlayStation that comes out, PS5, they'll be like, hey guys, here's PS1 games, but no two. See, I Every feel like, buffer. yeah. yeah. No, I feel like with PS4, since they got rid of the cell, they have no excuse for lack of backwards compatibility because it's basically PC architecture. Yeah. Like, they have, like, whatever, PS5 or whatever it's called, no excuse, like, plays PS4, it, oh, but it won't play PS4 games. There's literally no excuse because it's literally PC architecture at this rate. Yeah. So, it'll be interesting to see what they try to nickel and dime us on. Dimes and nipples. Nickels and dimes. Stop. Wow. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> so Destiny, right? Yeah, hey. Yeah, Destiny. <laughs> Woo, Destiny. So, yeah, that came out uh, last week today, actually. The yes. 20th it came out. <gasps> I know. Where does the time go? Yeah, I couldn't even begin to tell you. So, <laughs> when uh, the release came out, uh, we tried doing a live stream 
at 5 a.m. When we being you, I didn't wake up for it. You, you got up. <laughs> yeah, I got up and tried it. And unfortunately, the servers were so clustered that nobody could get on for at least two hours. That's what happens when they wait so long on new content. Like, mm -hmm. you know, chopping at the bit to get it so everybody was on and just kept queuing you up. Oh, it was so bad. <laughs> I had pictures that I was taking of the screenshots where I said, Hey, you'll get in as soon as you can. By the way, here's your queue number, 423,976. So yeah. real quick, yeah, fast. Yeah, you'll be in before you know it. That's what the general, I heard everyone said it took about two hours to get in on that. I waited and woke up like five hours after it was supposed to launch and I had no problem. I jumped right in and I was like, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, then again, I also took three days off work to dick around with it. So. Yeah. Well, that seems to be part of the course for like online based games. As soon as new content drops, the servers are just sacked. You would think that like the same number of people have been playing it for how long? I mean, maybe not all at once, but they should have an idea of how many people will be jumping on this. Mm -hmm. Between pre-sales and how many like active players they have going, do you think mm -hmm. they'd be like, oh, okay, well, if you kind of couple that together, or, can our servers handle this? Sure. Well, you're stupid, so. I think they'd get it right by now. Yeah, it's working now for me, so I don't care. <laughs> I'm good. All that matters. Yep. As long as you're not there, it releases. Good. So, all right, let's let's talk some logistics here about the new expansion. Right, you know. He's leaning in. He's I, drifting I, away. I was kind of falling back into this lovely seat. It's too comfortable. <laughs> so yeah, let's, let's talk logistics here on Destiny. Mm -hmm. So going into it, what were your expectations, Josh? Uh, I was looking for new strike, new crucible maps, and or game mode. Um, the one thing everybody wanted that they finally gave us was uh, private matches. I haven't got to play around with that yet. Me either. And... Uh, Really just kind of new guns, new obviously a new raid. They, they told us they were bringing that in. I haven't got a chance to play it yet, but I've heard it's mixed reviews for it, to say the least. But uh, honestly, just any kind of new content. Uh, and, and so far, what I've seen, they've given me pretty much everything I was looking for. Now, the quality of that content, we can get into later, but so far, I'm having a good time with it. Well, that, that makes one of us. My I think my expectations were too high when this came out. Uh, I always mm -hmm. temper mine. I wasn't really thinking, but you see, when uh, the previous expansion came out, what was it the Taken King? Yeah. Yeah, I was such a big fan of the Taken King when that came out. I it mean, was it, a good expansion. It or really was. Or whatever it was. Well, I still call it an expansion. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's um to kind of go back here a little bit. It introduced a new raid, just yep. as this new one did. Uh, a new storyline, which nobody pays attention to. Uh, I like the this new, new guns. one, though. This new one's really fun. Yes. I, I did enjoy going through the campaign as short as it was. Although, Very to be short. fair, I'm pretty sure it was exactly the same length that The Taken King was. Hmm. But um, my major gripe between the two, and it, it's probably not a good thing comparing one. True. Especially considering the very first one and Crota aren't even being <laughs> thought of anymore. <laughs> Um, my biggest gripe was the uh, the enemies. Like, with Taken King, it was a rehash of all the existing enemies. There was nobody new. They just gave them new abilities, and they gave them uh, a new character skin. So they looked different, mm. but it was the same model characters. But mm. it worked because the story that went along with it was Oryx, the big bad motherfucking boss, is taking these enemies from these other planets and making them his own. So he's he, he's hmm. just cherry-picking what he wants and making his own army. So it works in a story. Now with this new one, they have to recreate the wheel here when it comes to making new characters, and they did. They look a little cool, but I'm not as impressed as I was with an original idea or a, a, a shitty original idea of rehashing a character. So like these new ones, I'm just not impressed with. Hmm. You're looking... No, I'm thinking, I'm just looking up at the ceiling as you're talking. Um, I don't know, I, I kind of like them, uh, the look of them. They, visually, they're, they do look very... They're just fallen with augmentation from the SIVA the, the, or whatever it is, the red crap that they're finding. I think it's SIVA. The, the semen. Uh, yeah, uh, SIVA. <laughs> uh, 
They but uh, you know, they're, no they're, they're kind of like a power up. I feel like they hit a little harder, obviously, than normal fallen. Like if you would put them side by side, mm. the SIVA people are tougher or whatnot. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I guess like the mechanics of the old uh, the Taken King with like the uh, the splitting where they would um, yeah they, like they would divide in two and some of the other like things were really cool visually. But outside of the splitting thing, I can't think of any like anything that stands out from the the, the, the mobs that would come in like in this new old one. one. Like ah. they weren't that different. You know what I mean? Like that's the only one I can think. I guess the bubble. That's yeah. right. They have a bubble for the one guy. They would make their shield. Up. They would do their the, the like the Titan yeah, the Defender Titan bubble. bubble. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Those are about the only two I can think of. Which well, didn't they also shoot that orb that would. Follow you. Well, it was they, like a blue they orb. They would see the right now. Too. Yeah, now they do, but I don't think they had that before. Like I think that was an entirely new ability that they didn't have on any of the uh, Fallen or Vex. Or... Yeah, if they do, I can't remember. Yeah, but I mean, I get your point. Like visually, they are just kind of a reskin for this. I like that they're walking on like knives and stuff. That's kind of fun. But... Yeah, like the one bitch from uh, Kingsman. Oh yeah, she's in a lot of movies coming up actually. Oh really? Yeah. I should probably look into that. Oh, I will. Um. But, uh, <laughs> completely off the rails again. But, uh, yeah, that's a small gripe for me. Like, I wasn't really worried about that. Um, I just wanted more open area. They did that with the, uh, the patrols and, like, the plague lands. It's much larger, yeah. and they've made it more enticing to actually go back to the old patrols with the, the loot system that you can get by doing daily quests and, um, Oh, like, like little events, the, the... Oh, the new... The special um, events or whatever that drop. Yeah, within the um, open world map. Yeah, I can't think of the, what they call it, but either yeah, way. Like the war sad or hunt the enemy or whatever those Public are. events. Public events, thank public you. Public events, thank you. As generic as the term is, yes. What'd you think, Mike, so far? Because <laughs> we're just babbling at this point, so... I have no opinion because I have not played... I was in the alpha and the beta, and that's all I played. Wow, that's that was a... Terrible toss-up. Okay. Um, <laughs> way to go, LeBron. Maybe I should have read the, the notes beforehand, even though they say nothing about don't go to Mike for this. There was notes? There Tony notes. printed something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, no, so, yeah, I, Mike is not a Destiny player. Just no, didn't like it or just didn't have the time? I just didn't. I'm not one for time games, which is funny because we played a lot of... Um, Division. Division. Thank you. Um, I started with the D and I blanked on it. And it's just like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> You're blanking just on the D. Blank, oh, oh, always blank on the D. Yeah, I don't know. I just... Here we go. I don't know. It was like the Alpha and the Beta were the same, like the starting area, and you could only do like five or six things, so I got super repetitive, super fast, and I just... I like sci-fi, I guess. I just don't like that hard of sci-fi i don't know it's just Which is really strange considering you're such a big fan of borderlands yeah but that game yeah, is the shit borderlands 2 oh, borderlands is like my golden standard for like co-op play like and i've yet to nothing's been able to pass borderlands 2 yet for me i need a borderlands 3 like i need like three tits on a girl <sighs> they're so fixated yes. on battle battleborn right now it Borderlands 3, I'd wager 2018, 2019. I know, honestly. it's not any time, too. I loved Borderlands 2. Like, I played the crap out of that game. Oh, yeah, me and Tony played it. I don't even know how many hours, and I platted it on PS3 and PS4 and 100% at all the DLC. So, yeah, I love Borderlands. Yeah, that's but... a little more than me, but... Oh, yeah, we, but... we played that thing religiously. I would come yeah. home from work but... just to play with him, and then we would... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Would... Destiny yeah. just didn't grab me. I don't know. Uh, fair enough. They're trying to get me, Tony and his buddies are trying to get me in on uh, Destiny 2, so let's see if that works. You know you're gonna. I well, mean, now, just... that it'll, now that it'll be only, uh, I call it, still call it next gen, but current gen or whatever. Yeah. Well, that's what I read. They, um, it'll be this was better. the first expansion where they dropped last gen. And uh, visually, it looks, you can tell that they did because it looks a lot better than... Uh, yeah. the limitations they had to work with. with the well, I was ones. surprised it was cross-generation to begin with. I mean, it came out a few years into the PS4 cycle. They, I guess the they PS... held on for a long time, like way yeah. too long. True. However, you could play. No. So if you I had can't... a friend on PS3, I could not play with him if I was on PS4. Yeah. 
Then again, yeah. who the hell still has a PS3? Why are you not upgraded? Like, I don't feel sorry for that. Yeah. I'm sorry. Maybe the money thing, yeah, not everyone can afford it, but at the same time, it's, it's been, been years. like, yeah, you can save 20 bucks a month or something and be two years. I don't even know the math is bad. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, oh, no. you yeah, can have no. it by now. Yeah. No, yeah, no, I, I understand, and I thought it was just them trying to throw the widest net when they just should say, you know what, our core players, the pl- the players that we're after, they're going to be on the new platform. Let's just focus on the new platform, but they just wanted to throw that net as wide as possible. And, yeah, let's throw the last gen in there for shits and giggles. And then, yeah, I read, yeah, with, the, with um, what is it, Rise of Iron? It's like, yeah, they officially dropped last gen support. So it's like, well, then that was a worthwhile endeavor. Good job, yeah, guys. Yeah, that alone should add uh, points for going forward in terms of what they can do going, what we can expect going forward. Yeah. Next. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I've I've read some I've read something really tell like what Destiny would be able to be if it had been from the get go oh, yeah. cu- current gen. Yep, oh, fantastic. Yeah, it would have been mm-hmm. a lot better. Which is saying a lot considering it's already amazing. It did have a nice it does have a nice graphic system. I do like the um like the art style. I think I played as the um I think I played as the robot uh race when I was in the beta. What class though? Um Hunter, I believe. Yeah, no boy. <laughs> Team Hunter. Team Warlock over here. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll pop a team in your face. Oh, my God. Well, one I... thing that might actually be up your alley then, Mike, considering mm-hmm. your major qualm with Destiny is that it's an online-only game, which is mm-hmm. that, that's correct. It is. Although, yeah. with this new expansion, I've noticed that a lot of the quests that have come out that they're trying to force you to do mm-hmm. are solo. Hmm. You can solo. You can solo. Yeah. You can solo. Uh, well, yeah, you can solo the Galahorn. I sold the uh, Kvostov one. Yeah. Uh, I shouldn't say I sold. So, someone showed me where the... Uh, or gave me like a little cheat to get the blueprint, but after mm-hmm. that, I was able to. Um, My barometer, though, is like progress. Because like in the division... If you want to make progress, you need a group. We're, yes. Like, we hit 30, and it's like, all right, we work such different work schedules, and, you know, life gets in the way. It's like, you can't, we, we barely play together anymore. So it's like, all right, I'll play by myself. And you can't do anything. You can't do the incursions. You can't do other shit. So it's like, you're not going to get good gear. Whereas, like, Borderlands, you could do everything solo. Right. It's so just it's, scaled so, based about on the only thing. Yeah, but so the only it's thing like, is there progression? Like, do, do, if you play by yourself, do you feel like you can, like, make progression? Because, like... You can it... until the end game stuff. Like, if you okay. want to tell, like, like, they use light level as, like... Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, if you want to get the highest light level, you have to be able to run the raids, which yep. require... But, I mean, you can get really close to the light level mm-hmm. by yourself, for the most part. Mm-hmm. Um, matchmaking. Yeah, they do matchmaking, so yep. you can, like, do strikes where it's, like, two random people, and you don't have to talk to them, you just... You know, do your part. <laughs> just do it. Yeah, you just do your yeah. part. You know, yeah. if they die, you res them. You shoot stuff. You make your way through. Like right. Yeah. And uh, Iron Banner actually. And you do Iron Banner. Most That's recently, at least in uh, this last expansion, the one before this, the Taken King, mm-hmm. uh, for Iron Banner, which is once a month, mm-hmm. they were dropping items that, well, items that you only get through PvP. They're PvP specific items, but the yeah. light level attached to them. Mm-hmm. was the same level that you would get out of the raid. Yeah. So you can solo Iron Banner for a week yeah. and get raid drops. You wouldn't yeah. get the actual items that come from the raid if you're looking to get specific items, but you would get yeah. items that are of that level that you can infuse into mm-hmm. items you already have. I mean, you know, with the raid, you're guaranteed to get higher stuff each time you do it, yeah. whereas right. this, like, it, you know... And frequency. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, there's still a chance if you just want to pop mm-hmm. in and do some matchmaking play some games while you're listening to music or whatever not talking to anyone and you yeah. can still grind your way yeah. up so it's yeah. possible but it, it you know it, it is easier and it's something they want you to get groups together to be able to do yeah and, and i can understand that i don't know yeah i don't know just didn't grab me i gave it a whirl don't worry we'll get you by two it's fine yep yeah well yeah. Uh, we probably got like a year or two for that anyway <laughs> even if it means uh, i have to pull a rich and buy you the and damn games. Oh you can buy, you buy it right now. It's twenty dollars. It, that includes Rise, uh, Rise of Iron. It has like everything for like yeah. I could we could All get you the game and get you leveled up to pretty much the same level as us <laughs> in like a week, if yeah. not. Yeah, it really doesn't take. It that would, long. Yeah, it would be super yeah. easy. 
Yeah, and once one character is up, you can get... Tell you what, Tony, you drive up to Minnesota, and uh, I'll consider it. <laughs> so I'll be up there for Thanksgiving, buddy. Shenanigans in the future. Always oh, shenanigans. I'll stay in Ohio. You guys have fun. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, well, did you see that there was just a post on Reddit uh, about Destiny 2? It seems like they're considering uh, characters not carrying over, which I feel like people would riot over. I see, riot right I, just, now. I just heard talking with people at play that they actually said that it would carry over, that they'd heard that. So I don't know which way they're going. And honestly, nobody, knows, nobody knows anything. I at don't this really way. care. Like, don't get me wrong. I like what I've done with my character, but I'm not mm-hmm. like a completionist. I don't have like all the guns saved up and all the old armor. Mm-hmm. As long as the mechanics are the same, and at least keep, We're like, fine-tuned. my... Yeah, but, I mean, like, uh, at least keep my, like, achievements, and, you know, if if I found year one stuff, like, let it be known yeah. that I did that, like, that kind of carry over. But I don't need them to bring my exact character with my exact guns going forward, because yeah. at the time I'm switching them out for whatever better ones I find anyway. It would be nice to have a wipe anyways. Yeah, yeah. there are some things that you just do need to kind of, like, scrub out. But you know, you'd have like that to have like 3,000 hours on a character. Oh, yeah. Just like Ooh, we know flip their shit. Yeah, there's both. Yep. <laughs> Darren and Verge would 100% do that. Uh, Rich even. Rich has put enough hours in. And Rich is on a new PSN name because his first one got banned. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Why is Balls Deep that bad? I don't know. Some kid must have got offended. It was probably some kid playing the damn game. His mom walks in and sees this guy named Balls Deep Tweez screaming curse words at him. She probably <laughs> bagged him in the crucible. Yeah. yeah. Way to go, Rich. Maybe he should have been playing better. He wouldn't yeah, gotten too bad. Maybe he's bottom of the game. I think it's, I don't know, there's probably a rating for it that I don't know. Yeah, I don't even care yeah, to look cares. anymore. I'm a isn't grown it, up. Isn't it team? Yeah. Is it? Couldn't tell you. I'd Google it, but the computer's so far away. I'd Google it, but I'm lazy. Right. So, let's actually, um... Move on a little bit here. Uh, so, what has changed when it comes to the mechanics of this new expansion before, Josh? It, gameplay-wise? Yeah. Like, I noticed the menus changed a little bit. Yeah, they made it easier for you to party up. Uh, before, the, you know, if you're looking at who all's in a Crucible match or whatnot, it used to be, like, split across two screens. It made it hard to, like... There'd be, like, 11 on one and one on another page. You couldn't see what's going on. So they just made it easier to see who you're playing with. Yeah. Did you just notice that? I did just notice that. <laughs> Way to do your research. Um, yeah. Actually, in terms of mechanics, I really haven't noticed a whole lot. Uh, um, yeah, gameplay's a bit about the same, but I... I like the, um, they've expanded the number of, uh, oh, when, it, when it comes to quests and things like that, they've moved it all so you can see it better. It's not vertical, it's horizontal now. Yeah, they shifted everything around. Like, the bounties used to be down below, and now they're off to the right. Yeah, I mean, did they increase they, it? What, they what? Did they increase the amount you could carry, or is that the same? What, bounties? Yeah. Oh, shit, hold on. Three, it's seven. six across, it's twelve? I've got six and two and four, twelve... I think it's still 12. Okay. Actually, it might be 14. Oh. Yeah, either way. Close. Something along those lines. And they, like, reduce the page of, like, your quests? Yep. They made it easier to, like, change pages, too. Instead of having to actually, like, click on the, you know, the arrow to go arrow over. Is... Now all of it will do it with the uh, R1, R2s. Oh, you know what? I didn't even try that. Yeah, I R1... kept doing it the clicky yeah, way. Yeah, R1, R2s will switch you over as long Beautiful. as, like, you're hovered over the, uh, the whatever the frame the... for it. Yeah, yeah. whatever. Um... Yeah, they reduced it. It was 3 by 3 3 by 2 Now it's 2 by 2 Sure. Well, like, you know, a, like Whatever a you say, no, oh, a 2 by God. 2 let's go. <laughs> so, yeah, it's 2 by 2 now. <laughs> and then they added something over on the left. Oh, the books. Yeah, the books. The, it's got your year one that, um... You didn't complete that, did you? I did. I completed year one. Okay. Well, you didn't complete... I did uh, not complete the most recent the most one, recent one before this update. Apparently, everyone who completed no, not no. I'm sorry, I am mixing shit up. Did you play when they had that um, infection thing where you would get like experience boosts and things like that? You'd have like weird little glowing uh, over your no, head. No, I I hopped on and I saw everybody had like this weird thing yeah. shooting around their head. Apparently, people who got that ended up getting a uh, emblem for that. Those motherfuckers. Yeah, so I got See, it. Yeah, I missed that. Yeah, missed oh, that. that's where you got that. I was asking that you about one? that. Yeah, yeah, the blue one. That, it was in my postmaster when I logged on. You dirty bastard. Yeah, well. I also just got my wing or whatever. Oh, I, wasn't, I wasn't supposed to get it, but oh, like Amazon. Research. Yeah, Amazon 
I mean, email no, saying I could get it. You were supposed to get it. In fact, I read an article where anybody who got it through Amazon got hosed, and they didn't get oh. the pre-order stuff. Oh, well, I got the... The Galahorn. Yeah, I got the Galahorn, but I didn't get the... Racer I got it now. Horn. Yeah, it, the horn's weird. I just <laughs> literally just did it right before we started doing this. You know, the one thing I'm very disappointed on about this whole thing is... Uh, and I, I can't really speak too much on it because I haven't actually done it, but the raid. The raid. I've watched, but haven't done it yet. Right. So this game came out a week ago today, last Tuesday. Raid came out Friday. And the raid came out Friday. Granted, there's always two different versions of it. There's an easy mode and a hard mode, and yeah. we haven't, we don't have access to the hard mode yet. And when they do, they're gonna increase the light level another 20 points or something. A lot. A lot. I think the cap is going to be 400. So when the hard mode 15 comes out. after. Yeah. Either way, so. The one thing I'm not happy about is the raid, because, and like I said, I, I haven't actually done it yet, and there's probably reasons for that, but from everybody, life. yeah, life, uh, everybody that's in our uh, clan, our yeah. raid group, that have done it, they've all reported the same thing, and that it's, it's just, it's garbage, and they're all hmm. saying the same things about it, too, it's too short. Uh, there's not enough to do, uh, too easy, uh, and when you compare it to the Taken Kings, how many bosses were in the Taken King raid? There was uh, the first Bulgara, two rooms of bullshit. The priest, yep. Um, the sisters, the end one. Uh, you said war priest, right? Yeah. There were only there were only four bosses, but there were additional rooms. Like you had to run the relic, which I guess is a boss in terms of. You get a drop. You had to do something, and then there was all the jumping puzzles. Yeah, the ju and there's no jumping puzzle. In no, there's jumping puzzle. I mean, it's not like a puzzle, but like there's like get through. Yeah. But it's you know if you don't pay attention, you're gonna die and be stupid and hold everybody up. Right, but there's it's also not the four chests you have to you can find too. Yes, they in give you exotics. fact, I actually just saw a video today on Reddit of somebody who has already found a way to cheese the end of the raid. They can make it to the end chest without even fighting the boss. Yeah. Wait, how do you... When you're up on the Wait, ship... No, no, hold on. Not how do you get to it. I'm just saying, like, there's a chest to get the gear. Don't you have to beat the boss to get the, the gear? Yeah, you beat the boss to get the chest. However, the chest already exists. It's just in a different room. So after you so beat the you boss... Open, can you open it? Or you can just yeah, get to it? you can open it. Well, that's a stupid mechanic. Why wouldn't they have the mechanic that the boss has to die before you can open the chest? Well, the boss is in a room. So when you do it the right way, you go to the room, you kill the boss, and then that opens the door, and then you go outside and you open the chest. So he found a way to, like, jump over a wall or some shit to get in? Through the geometry... I'll uh, fix that real quick. Oh, yeah, they'll fix it yeah. probably today, if anything. But yes. Yeah. I saw somebody, like a group of three, did like the whole raid like normal. Like they beat it, just three manned it. So, I mean, it does seem like it's easier, but again, they're all mad. Like everyone's just waiting for the hard mode anyway. Like as soon as that gets there, this becomes a non issue because they make it harder, they make changes, and whatever like people are noticing now, they'll address and fix before the hard mode drops. So, I mean, yeah, it's a. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's a, a bit of a pain right now, but I don't know. But I think there's still plenty to do that, like, if the raid's a little easy, and, and most people run it on the first day anyway, and then don't touch it again the rest of the week, so it right. all that really does is just make it easier for them to get the light level, and then either enjoy the rest of the game, or, I don't know, find something else to pass the time, I don't know. Right. Um, well, and what's actually really funny is the, um, for the most part, generally speaking, the Nightfall is more difficult than the raid right now. Yeah, modifiers they put on? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, fun. Ridiculous. So yeah, and uh, oh, I mean, I look forward to it, but well, I, I mean, just... I'm still gonna play the damn yeah. thing. Don't get me wrong. And the other thing that kind of drives me a little nuts is the fact that they gave away the Galahorn pretty easily. immediately. Yeah. I mean, if you remember, if you were part of year one, the, the drops, man. The, uh, it was impossible to get the Galahorn, and the Galahorn is the most important, the strongest weapon in the entire game is a rocket launcher that has tracking, and then it blows up and it, like, turns into a bunch of little mini rockets, and then they hone in. So, I mean, it does amazing damage. And you don't even have to aim it at what you want to shoot, and it's gonna do it anyways. Hmm. They removed it when the next one came out, 
So you couldn't really use it anymore, and you had to find a new ultimate weapon. And now that this expansion is out, they're bringing the Galhorn back, or they brought it back, and they gave it away. Order. If you pre-order the game, <laughs> you get it in your damn Postmaster. Granted, you can't use it until you unlock it. But like I said earlier, I soloed the quest line to unlock it. It was so easy. So now everybody in the world of Destiny has the strongest weapon in the damn game. I honestly don't think it's the strongest weapon. I mean, yeah, it's a rocket launcher and it still does everything, but they've nerfed it a little bit. I, I don't care that they really gave it away. I just miss the replayability and the, the excitement you would get on random drops. Like, in the first year, year and a half, or whatever, if you wanted to find something, you had to go play the old raids, or because some of them would be raid-specific, mm-hmm. um, or you would just have to get exotic engrams to drop randomly. You can't three of coins overload. So you would uh, just finish... Just for clarification, the three of coins is a, a consumable that you can take that increases the drop rate of exotics off of bosses you kill. Yeah, what he hmm. said. Um, <laughs> he seems to read enough. I don't know. Yeah. That was a big thing with Taken King when they added that. But uh, I just like the you, you'd finish a raid, something would pop up, and you would see what you get, and some like you hear people like freaking out when they get you know, what was it in the back of the Galahorn or Vex Mythoclass or mm-hmm. Fatebringer or Hawkmoon? Any any of the old originals that just would drop before you could like just pick them up randomly. Yeah. I, I kind of hope they go back to more of a drop centered, um, like actually go after the RNG here instead yeah. of like just handing stuff to us if we do certain things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I'd like I don't to like that. to be like force fed stuff. Or not force fed, but uh, what's it, whatever. Spoon fed. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> I like being spoon fed. And you're a weird man, Tony. So, <laughs> so what um. What, I imagine those are probably your final thoughts on the situation. Yeah, with the raid. Yeah, it, it in itself is worth it. Overall. I do, I do. Um, I'm still learning the new Crucible uh, game mode, Supremacy, which, for anyone who's played Call of Duty, is basically... Uh... Oh, god dang, I can't remember the tags. Well, I mean, you had Search and Destroy. No, Jesus Christ, I can't Capture the flag. Name. Domination. Kills confirmed. Kill, kill confirm. confirm. Ooh, is it? Yeah, I haven't played that one yet. Okay, so yeah, you you get you kill people. They drop a little a tag. Um, basically looks a like ghost. an engram. Okay. Like that kind of shape. Um, drop that. You get killed. You drop one. And if you pick up theirs, you get a point. And if you teammate or you pick up one of your teams, then you negate. You not negate, but like stop them from getting. So it, it's it's made it much more difficult for me. I'm I'm too focused on trying to pick things up when I shouldn't be. I've got to change my play style for it. Like, you can bait people by, uh, you know, you kill someone and drops it, it shows up on the map, and everyone's like, I gotta go get that. I gotta go right. sit, you know. And instead of me just picking, maybe turning a corner and getting killed immediately, if I just wait a little bit, someone's probably gonna try and come pick it up, and I can pop them, maybe, do- you know, two or three times, who knows. But it's, uh, it's fun. It's the, um, the grab radius when you're picking things up is uh, a little weird, because... Rich and I were playing one day, and uh, we literally both ran right over top of them both. They, there was two of them on the ground. We ran right over top, and uh, neither one of us picked up any of them. And it was <laughs> just like, I don't know what it is. If it's, oh, so it's all, it's, it's kind of It's a little janky, right yeah, it's yeah. a little janky right now, but it's okay. a fun mode. It sounds, I, actually, that was one of my favorites in um, Call of Duty, I always played the Kill, kill confirmed. confirmed. I always played it on the hard course. You didn't have the, the radar and one yeah, hit kills. And it made, oh, made absolutely. It, uh, yeah, you, yeah you it doesn't have that. that option, does it? Not yet, but I mean, with private you matches, private? you might be able to. Like, I haven't played with private matches. No, I, 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 looked at, I opened stuff. it up so I could see the settings, what yeah. you can do and change, but I, I guess I never lot, but I haven't, I, I haven't hmm. messed with it. But but Supremacy is a lot of fun. Um, I like the new strike. Uh, I just like, uh, I don't know, it, it seems like there's more to do. There's additional bounties now through in the new yeah, common space. Sad. Uh, they're actually we, they give you new ones each week. Like I just picked up four new ones, and as you turn those in, that gets you a quest line going. I just picked up two new quest lines for today. Right. I don't even know what they are because I, I <laughs> there's literally like 30 seconds before you knocked on my door. So, um, yeah. uh, they seem to have additional uh, 
things for you to try and do each week. Uh, so they're keeping us engaged. Yeah. And they said down the line they might bring out, bring back Sparrow Racing, and obviously there's Iron Banner. That I'm looking forward to. Um, there's the holiday-centric themed stuff they do. I don't know. Oh, you like know. that garbage Halloween one? The Halloween, or there was the Valentine's. But there's mm-hmm. there's different things that they're going to be doing, and I don't know how much content will be involved with each of them, but it seems like they're they're going to keep us, you know, drag Steady. us along as we go. Something that they, um, they heard our voice and our concerns about the old raids. Yeah. And they did confirm that, that they with are us. going to, yeah. They, they didn't say it's going to happen anytime in the immediate future because they're, they're focusing on this, yeah. but yes, they are going to do something to That would be we, fun to be able to go back and play like... Uh, Vault of Glass? Yeah. I would Vault love to do that. I never really got into that one that much. I mean, I played it, but yeah. it wasn't the same feeling as when you had to run it, but it was difficult. I played it when I had, you know, much higher light and it was a lot easier, so... Yeah, right, when we just kind of coast through Yeah, it. exactly. But overall, I really like it. Um, again, it's only been a week, so we haven't been able to play everything. Haven't had the time to test out all the new things. But it's going to keep me engaged over the weekends or the occasional evening for a while, at least. Yep. So if you had to give it a rating out of 10, 10 being... 10 being amazing. 10 being um, absolutely amazing. What would you give it? 7.3. Said so, did like 7.3... <laughs> Yeah, I'm going decimals on it. Like, just over 7, but not good enough to be 7.5. <laughs> right. Exactly. He's around the C range. That's fair. That's Actually, fair. I don't even know. Is that a C range? Yeah, 75 is a C plus, I yep. think. Because, mm-hmm. I so, mean, like you said, with the, the kind of lazy new characters, Yeah. Um, the hit-or-miss raid that, again, haven't played, but from what I've heard, um, and the easiness of picking up all the new exotics because i've already gotten three out of the oh, four just handing it to us now i got one out of a drop nice um i got the rising stars shining star it's a uh, heavy machine gun but either way that just dropped out of an engram Lucky. um so i think i've got three out of the four right now so it seems easy but overall it, it, the rating can go up as i play more and see what's going on but i like it a lot what about you from what you've played so far from what I've played so far, I've got to say... Uh, no decimals. No decimals. Dick. <laughs> I'm not going to give it a decimal. Um, I, I... Oh, buddy. My personal opinion oh, is six and a half. Yeah, there we go. Six and a half. Decimals. There's your decimal. Thank you. Just below your rating. And the reason I say that is because I'm just... I'm not as drawn into it as I was with The Taken King. I mean, granted, give me some more time... Uh, when I start knocking out this hard raid, when it comes out, I'm probably going to be all in. But as of right now, I feel like I'm just going through the motions again. Uh, I'm doing the same stuff that I did before. Yes, it's different in the sense that it's forcing you to go along all of these new modes. Yeah, I got you. But at the same time, it's, it's the same content. We're just, we have new skins. That's about it. Um... Uh, six and a half. But Fair at enough. the same time, Mike, how can you sit there listening to our review on this comfortably? <laughs> yeah, and just not play it. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, that different strokes for different folks, man. If you want to pump, you know, some hours into something, you know what? That's your choice. You know, more power too, as long as you're not hurting somebody else. I mean, if you want to spend all your time on that, I mean, go for it. I got a guy on my friends list. I wake up in the morning and go to work. I occasionally pop on my PS4. He's playing Division. I come home, he's still playing Division. He must have leveled up at least 12 different characters to max level in the Dark Zone. And oh, the, I can't and do and it. the new Underground DLC. I know, I don't know how he's done it. But it's just like, you know what? If you want to sink all your time into that, you know what? More power to you. Go for it. Well, I don't know. I'm glad you guys are so passionate about it. It's just not something that I've... It hasn't caught my eye, and who knows? Maybe Destiny Two will just like blow my mind, and I pre-order the the collector's edition. But you know, well, see, that's why we brought you on here for other stuff like Bioshock, because I have <laughs> played shit about that. So I'm gonna get to sit here and listen to you guys talk about that for the next whatever. This guy here <laughs> does, has not played Bioshock, so yeah. There are a lot of games here. you guys tell me to play that I've never done. I've never done an Uncharted, I've never done a Bioshock or Fallout or. I would definitely recommend Unchar- like pick up the Uncharted collection. I could take or leave four. Okay. Yeah, I mean four is not the greatest. Definitely two. Like if you're gonna play one of them, play two. Yeah, two is. Mm-hmm. That's probably like the star of the series in my eyes. I, I even skipped the first one. Okay. 
Okay. I went straight to two. Well, tell yeah. me about Bioshock. How, you've been playing that, Mike. What are, what are your thoughts on it? How are you liking it? Oh, I mean, it's Bio... I mean, I played it on <laughs> PS3. It's Bioshock. I mean, if they updated the graphics or, like, changed the textures, I can't really tell. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's 1080p... For the most part, 60 frames per second. Like the for some reason, the pre-rendered cutscenes are still in 30, so it's a little jarring when they play. But uh, yeah, I platinum Bioshock One. I'm starting to go through Bioshock Two. I've never even played Infinite, even though I got it. What was it like? I gave it away on PlayStation Plus. I I never played Infinite. You never I played it. No, I know you did. Oh, oh, I thought dude, you did. Was, oh, I loved it. This, the third one is uh, so good. How, how have you not played that one? Uh, I've, the same reason I haven't played uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Rogue. Like, it's going to get brought to current gen at some point. Why, why buy it twice? <laughs> yeah, you can't compare it to Assassin's Creed. They're beating that dead horse. I mean, they break off of uh, Assassin's Creed this year because they've driven that series so far into the ground. Yeah, you and did you see did you see the trailer for the Ezio collection? No. I was I watched it at work and I was laughing so hard people thought I was insane. Like the upgrade the graphical upgrades are minimal and it's and Ubisoft or Ubisoft, how do you say their name because they're dumb. Uh they've confirmed that it's thirty frames per second. Oh, that's garbage. <laughs> yeah, it's like, alright, you know, he's probably my favorite assassin, but I'm sorry if you can't be bothered with 60 frames per second. Well, that's what a... Bioshock's running on, 60. Yeah. It's like, it's such a lazy port. Like, the graphics look barely noticeable, and the 30 FPS is just like, no thanks. I love right. Ezio. I love those games. But yeah, not I... enough to go to 30 frames. So no, you finished say... the first Bioshock? Yeah, and I planned it. Just it just came out. Well, it... The first one, there is a glitch where you can change the difficulty right before the final boss, and you will get... So you play it on easy right before the boss, something happens, you change it to difficult, you watch the final cutscene, you get all the trophies that stack for that. You can basically get the platinum in one playthrough, but I fucked up and missed a couple of audio diaries, so I had to do a second playthrough. That's good to know. I didn't but realize that. It is. And then I'm... I don't even know. I quarter the way through two... Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of two. So what's uh, what's your uh, favorite moment about the first one? I think just like the city itself, it's such a unique setting. Like you're at this dystopian and Rand city at the bottom of the ocean. Like you look outside, you can see like whales go by. You can see like, you know, fish. It's just such an interesting setting. Right, and so I, fi I um... find myself doing that with Bioshock too. Like whenever there's like window or like you're in one of the tunnels connecting to another area, I just like look around. Like, because it's just such pretty... Because it's such a neat idea. Like, you're at a sea at the bottom of the ocean. Right. It's like... But... No, that's, I think it's an interesting setting. That's the second one, too, right? The second one is yeah. ice water. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, the third one is clouds... Or city in the sky, which... I plan on uh, completing... Or platting all three. The only thing that kept me from platting the second one were those god-awful uh, multiplayer trophies. Right. Mm, God. Right. So, uh, in, in your uh, best description how mm -hmm. would you describe the story of bio josh here has never played it i don't even think he knows what it is i've seen uh, like pictures of some of the characters in the game but that's about all i know uh, first person takes place in a city at the bottom of the ocean because the guy was basically fed up with the government you got uh you got these superpowers called plasmids, like, so you can, like, shoot, like, electricity out of your hands or fire out of your hands. And in some cases, bees out of your hands. Oh, um, <laughs> Wait, you bees and I, and I guess, Yeah, bees. Yeah, bees. Reminds me of the and Simpsons. Didn't they have, like, a dog that shot bees out of its mouth? On... It, they did. But, oh. um, yeah, I don't know. Like, you know, like all video games, shit, uh, shit hits the fan and the city, like, goes to civil war. And by the time you get there, it's all broken down and people are fighting each other the people who have like just OD'd on uh, plasmids are called splicers so you just have these freakish people running around trying to kill you I do like me, out. I do like like freaky like bulbousy skin like a third head growing because apparently two's not enough they go straight to three yeah, well you need three boobs 
Who doesn't? Total yeah. Recall ruined it for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But yeah, and that was kind of the um, basis behind the first Bioshock was when it came out, it was supposed to be uh, somewhat of a thrilling almost horror game, but not quite. <sighs> they, they described it with, like, horror elements, but, like, it's so tame by today's standards, it's like, yeah, was yeah. it horror? Was it really? Like, I don't... Suspense. Suspense, yes. I mean, I it's think all suspense. dark. You're, it, it's a dark setting, you're underwater, it's one of those, like, if you're out in outer space, you know, nobody can hear you scream, same thing underwater, mm -hmm. and you're by yourself, and you got all these tweakers trying yep. to kill you. So, I mean, you walk into a room, you don't know what's in there, and all of a sudden this guy who's hanging out in the corner starts chasing after you, screaming. Mm -hmm. I guess it would kind of be a suspenseful... Yeah. I, suspense is the best way to describe it. Outlandishly whorish about it. I mean, just... I don't know, it's an interesting game to at least play through once. You know, it's on everyone's... Not everyone's, but, you know, whenever websites do, you know, top ten games of whatever. It's like, it was always on those lists. It's like, it's... It's a good game. I mean, is it in my top ten? No, but, you know, it's a good way to kill a weekend. Yeah, sounds like it. I might have to give it a look. Well, I'll end oh, yeah, if you can pick it up for, like, 30 uh, bucks, get the collection for, like, 30 bucks, it'd be an absolute steal. Fair enough. Yeah, definitely. In fact, it's actually one of my favorite collections, the Bioshock. Mm -hmm. Whenever you buy it, I'll just steal it from me, Tony. Don't worry. Yeah, no, no worries. In fact, I'll probably finish it pretty quickly, too, because it's so awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. And now that I know about this exploit, you can get naturally. your platinum quick. Oh, yeah. Be done with it. Yeah. Fair enough. Get my fix. <laughs> gotta, gotta hear that ding. <laughs> That's right. The delayed ding. <laughs> so, those are, um,. Those are basically the highlights of what we uh, wanted to discuss in this podcast. Uh, and going forward, that's pretty much going to be the theme of how these go. Uh, it, it seems as though every month a, a, a major game comes out. And that's kind of what we want to highlight. And with that, this month it was Destiny. Granted, it was just an expansion, but it was on already... Uh, they had a lot of hype going for it. A lot of hype. Yeah. I was looking forward to it a lot. Um, you know, there were a lot of people who stopped playing because they yeah, finished it. And, and came they... back for it. Exactly. And like I mm -hmm. said, so we, we haven't really been able to test everything, but we'll get there. Yep. We mm -hmm. still got time. Uh, but uh, uh, what's coming out next month? Is, that, is there uh, any good there horror is, stuff? Or there's something actually October nothing stuff? coming out next month. That well, is shit. I know. So, in fact, what we're going to do is I thought it would be pretty cool if next month, instead of reviewing the biggest game coming out since there isn't one and it's Halloween, I figured we could do like uh, a couple of um, individually like review our favorite horror game. But I thought what would be really fun, which I haven't even talked to you guys about yet, is uh, what if we did a um, like uh, the best horror game with certain mm -hmm. specifications. Like we can say from PS2 to PS4 or including PC, I mean, we can work on the logistics, but wouldn't it be cool if we just have, like, a, uh, what is the best horror game? Here are my reasons why. Oh, shit. Mm. Have a judge. I haven't played a lot of horror. See, that's so hard, because there's so many different kinds of horror. Yeah, are you talking, tricks. like, zombie chasing, like, uh, oh, Resident anything. Evil, or are you talking, like, uh... Outlast the, the... jump scares. Yeah, the that... shit your pants ones were, like, something, yeah. And then you got psychological stuff like Silent Hill. Yeah, or you just got the ones that it's kind of a mix of jump scare and puzzle. Like I loved Limbo. I played that on 360. That game was fun as shit, but still got me. I played it at night and whatever, but mm -hmm. it still got me to like jump every now and again. But that game was just fun. Like it was, but I yeah. digress. But it was good. It was good. If you haven't played it, find it. Check it yeah. out. Yeah, no, highly just, recommended. You're just thinking like one entry per person. Yeah, I'm thinking like uh, each one of us, we uh, we pick. Uh, the best horror game, and it doesn't have to be the best one. Yeah. And, um, we go ahead and we get a judge, and we say, you know, just go based off of argument and say, you know what, I, I think PT is the best horror game, and these are my reasons why, and if it's compelling enough to beat out your own, then... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, or, or if we can't find a judge or something, like, what's your, like... I'm trying to figure out how to describe it. Like, it's what's... like we're winning. It's just... Yeah. It's just, well, yeah, we'll just, just like... argue with. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Just... Remember, we're casual critics. This isn't going to be like too in depth here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not legit no, but... critics. No, Stop. I think the review. I I don't know. We could do both. 
if you want. I think we, oh, like yeah. if you pick a game and, and we like play it through, review it. That'd be interesting. Yep. Because there's so many like game. I got so many horror games in my collection. It's like. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Better start playing them now. Refresh yourself. Get on it. Well, see, that's the thing. If whatever game I pick, I'm gonna want to be able to play through again because I just don't want to rely off of nostalgia. Like, oh, this game is so great, but you know, the last time I played it was ten years ago. <laughs> so it's like. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about like the Crimson Butterfly. Oh. The Fatal Frame games. I love those. Well, yeah. I mean, we uh, we'll, we'll come up with something. Pretty yeah. To do for October. Something in the uh, horror genre to kind Naturally. of keep up with the times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, I can find something to play if I can find time. Either way. <laughs> we'll somehow. Yeah. Some way, somehow. We'll make it work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it sounds like a good idea. We can check it out for October. I'm really just disappointed there's nothing good coming out. I know. But we got stuff in November. Yeah, we got stuff. We got lots of stuff coming up. Final mm-hmm. Fantasy 15 coming out here soon. Yep. If they don't push it back again. Mm-hmm. So just shit on us when it comes to release dates. Yep. They had, we had a bunch of good games coming out, but then they all got freaking pushed back. Yeah, everything got moved into the spring of next year, it seems like. Yeah, yeah the one I was really looking forward to was uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, and that got pushed to February, I think. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to that one, too. Yeah, but it's like, you know, uh, some of the games got pushed back because of that, pr- that pro model got announced. Can't win them all, right? Mm-hmm. Wait, so, don't worry. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't plan on buying one, though. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, dude. Uh, yeah, let's end uh, it there. Or... Let's wrap this up. Yeah. Let's do our little closing thoughts. So this is um, this is kind of how we're going to do our monthly episodes. I mean, I'm, I'm sure we'll adjust it as we go along. Probably be a little more organized next time. Yeah, uh, maybe. Yeah. Well, at least we'll streamlined a little. Yeah. We'll still digress. <laughs> oh, I will. I always do. Oh, absolutely. So, gotcha. um, just to kind of give you guys a little last-minute thing here, we are the Casual Critics. You can find us on Facebook and YouTube. We have a channel on YouTube that has live streaming of our gameplays, as well as um, ridiculous videos and whatever else we decide to put up on there. So those are there. You can find this podcast. I don't know how you're listening to it if you didn't know this already, but uh, the podcast will be on... Um, Facebook as well as iTunes and uh, main website. So you can find us there. Like us, subscribe us. You got anything going on, Josh? Well, make sure casual critics with the Z because we're extreme apparently. Um, <laughs> I mean, if they didn't know that and looking with an S, they might not find it. That's true. It's not an S. It's a Z. Yeah, we're in late '90s uh, products here. Uh, <laughs> no, nothing for me. Um, when I am online playing, you can find me on PS4. Uh, screen name is Bamslide. How do you spell that? Yeah, fuck you. B A M F S L I D E. Okay. Yeah, it's nerd. Um, but yeah, I haven't been able to get any videos up on the site yet in terms of streaming, just because I haven't really had time or good enough stuff to put up there yet. But that'll come soon. Right what about you, Mike? Uh, nothing got going on. Yeah. Something. You gotta have something. Um, he's gonna stay anonymous even though you gave his first and last name so yeah no I'm I'm on PSN at uh, V-A-C-U-U-S D-E-U-S I'm mostly single player at the moment I don't know I'm usually on doing something we'll win you over eventually don't worry Uh, I know maybe not destiny but something we'll find (laughs) it exactly right we'll get you in there but yeah yeah what about you, mm-hmm. Freak? You gonna tell them yours on there too, or no? Uh, yeah, actually, um, on uh, the videos that we post for um, the channel, whoever happens to be playing, even if it's a joint group, the uh, PSN, so you can follow along that way too. You can find me, Freako127, on PSN. That's uh, pretty much what we got going on. Just look for Casual Critics with a Z. Thank you. Yep. Otherwise, it's called uh, branding, man. Extreme. Yeah. Extreme. So, yeah, Once that's Mountain us. Dew. <laughs> Fuck your Mountain Dew. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, thank you all for listening. Uh, like I said, we'll try and give it, do better next time. Yeah, so. Emphasis on try. But, Mike, thanks for being on. Uh, oh, sure thanks we'll for having me. Multiple times. No, no one else is going to show up, so. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you'll, you'll be on as long as uh, you want to be on. 
Until we oh, don't open. give me that window. Oh. So that was Mike's last time, guys. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> killed it. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, thanks, y'all. See you later. Right. Yeah. Bye-bye.